it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and singer here in the Boston area. And I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. In 2017, during Vlogmas, I, and I uploaded an official apartment tour. And that video has been picked up a lot and suggested lately. And it's been getting a lot more views. Um, and with that, a lot more comments. A lot of the comments were very nice. Some of them were kind of mean. <laughs> um, but a lot of them were remarks about how I had too much stuff. Now again, I want to maintain that too much stuff is really dependent on uh, whoever lives there. Uh, it is a shared space, so not all of it is my stuff. Um, but did we declutter? Do we still have a lot of stuff? Well, let's take a look at our official 2019 apartment tour and see if we have more or less stuff. Come on in. So welcome back to my home, or if you're new, welcome. This is Clover. This is my little assistant. He is two years old and he will be coming with us during this tour. So the entryway is just basically the same. Um, the only thing that we really did that I really love is decorate it a little bit. We have these cute little mirrors from Target which I turn upside down from time to time just to give it a little bit of a change look. Um, and I updated the top of this five bin tower. This is from the container store. I don't think they sell this exact model anymore but they do sell another one. I will link it down below. Everything that I talk about, I will link it down below so that you can check it out. If you're interested in what's in the drawers, go ahead and watch the last tour. I talked a lot about that. Some people were very unhappy about that, but you know, I'm very detailed. I like to go into detail. The coat closet is where we did a lot of decluttering. Um, there's not nearly as much stuff as there was in here before. And a lot of a lot of the stuff that's in here is actually Clover's stuff. So we dedicated an entire drawer to him. He gets the top of this shelf and that bin up there is his stuff too. Like if he has, um, he's got razors, where I need to shave him a little bit. It's just like seasonal stuff for him. I needed a place for seasonal dog items to go. So that's up there. Um, but I emptied a lot of stuff from up there because it was just really valuable real estate because this closet has to do more than one thing. It has to be a utility closet for cleaning items. It has to be a coat closet. It has to be a storage for Clover's thing. And it has to hold tools. And it also holds our backup toilet paper and paper towels. So I had to make priority for just that stuff. And the other stuff that was in here before, gone. decluttered from it but we did get rid of a lot of stuff in the cabinets I recently got a Keurig and I really really love it I've been sort of hesitant to get a Keurig because I, I am I am hesitant to use like the single-use pods because I didn't think they were recyclable um, but they actually are recyclable you just have to take them apart which is a pain in the butt but I do it anyway and we're gonna get a reusable pod to use in there because I'm tired of doing that. <laughs> I completely changed the cabinets because it made sense to put all the coffee and tea stuff together. So that's one thing that got changed and decluttered, but the thing that got decluttered the most actually is under the sink. In my first video that featured the under the sink storage solutions, I got some comments that said that under the sink looked a little cluttered and I had a little too much stuff for a professional organizer. And you know what, I take those comments and I take them, some of them as constructive criticism and some, you know, I really take to heart. I really decluttered this space and I feel it looks a lot better now. We have a lot less stuff under here, I think. So um, we've got a good amount of microfiber cloths, but we definitely decluttered in the area of cleaners and items we use to clean. So we've got everything we need in here and it's pretty much been working for us without all that extra stuff. I got rid of so many cleaners last year. We also did a big declutter on the food storage containers that we've got in this cabinet and now we've got what I think is an acceptable amount. By the way, I get a lot of comments about this tea kettle. It is from Adagio Tea. I will link it down below. It's really, really, really cool. I love it. Oh, look who has brought me a ball, even though we've been playing for like an hour at the dog park. Clover, I have to film this video and then I will play with you. Okay, little man. One of the things that we did in 2018 that I absolutely love and am obsessed with is this awesome bar wall. 
I love it. We like to entertain and have wine with dinner and things like that, and I really, really, really wanted a bar cart, but there was just no room in the apartment. When I originally had the floor plans for the apartment after I purchased it, uh, I very, very carefully, uh, in, a, in a very detailed design program, placed every piece of furniture with the exact dimensions that what we had, and I didn't find any free piece of floor real estate that wasn't going to be like in the way. Actually, when we got a dog, I was stressed because there was going to be a crate that was going to be in the way, but um, as of last year, we don't really use the crate anymore, so we've moved the crate to storage and he sleeps in bed with us, which I was initially against, but now I can't sleep without him. We have been storing our liquor in this cabinet over here uh, above the coffee, which is really strange, but it was the only place that it would fit. So I really wanted to get a bar, dedicated bar space. And if you're in a small space, what better space than right on that wall? These shelves are from Pottery Barn and they're beautiful. They're actually made of iron. And when I was searching for a wall bar, I was inspired by one I saw on Anthropology, but I didn't want to pay the Anthropology prices, but I liked the style of it. And when I searched uh, for wall bars on the internet, all I would find was these really rustic looking wooden bars, which I thought were really nice, but really didn't fit the style of the apartment. It's a lot more modern here. We love metal, we love clean lines, so I wanted to find something that fit with the aesthetic of the apartment, and these are amazing. They were a pain to put up, but once they're up, they're fine, so we've got our liquor and stuff on the top shelf, our beautiful shaker from Anthropology. That, that's where I got from Anthropology, and our glasses are here, and then we've got our really, really cool wine shelf. I love this wine shelf. It holds six bottles of wine and I just think it looks really cool. I was kind of questionable about it when I first got it, I, but now I'm in love with it. So we keep the, the current open bottle of wine right here and my husband's court collection right here, this really cool glass thing that we got from Michael's. And if you haven't watched the previous video, this is actually a table that seats six, but it folds up small into a console. If probably given another choice, I wouldn't have purchased this exact table because it's pretty expensive for what it is. There are four chairs inside which are really, really great quality, but considering that I could probably get something like this for cheaper from Wayfair, I probably would have made another decision um, about this particular table, but we like it anyway. The other thing we did in 2018 that I absolutely love is give little Clover Dog his own breakfast and dinner station with his name on it, Clover James, and his little eating mat and his special little water bowl. It's super cute and I love that he eats here. He's got his own little space and I removed, there was a bunch of cords here earlier to go with the Roomba, which is under the table, and the Brava, which is beside the table. That's the robot mop that iRobot makes, which is a great mop, by the way. You should get one. But I wanted him to have that, his own little special dedicated space for all of his stuff. And it's got Clover Danes, and most recently he got a Canine Good Citizen Award for being an official good boy. So I wanted to put that there and honor him and let him know that I was proud of him. basically the same. We didn't really declutter in here. We did change the color scheme of the cushions in here. We've got a beautiful blush and gray theme here, which I absolutely love. And in that same vein, I changed the tray on the coffee table as well to make it match. And I think it's really beautiful, very calming. And I don't find it to be too feminine. I actually just find it to be really calming. So my husband loves it. He's not offended by the pink. We just really love this space. The alpha, freestanding shelving is still basically the same. We have taken some stuff off of these shelves, but we love books. We both love books. And I actually have a lot of sheet music that I have to have because of my singing career. So that needs to stay. Um, but everything else is still basically the same. That's a lie because this is a brand new couch. We had the Peggy couch from West Elm last year and that couch was very defective. It had some buttons on the seats that would pop off. So they offered us a full refund on the couch and we got a brand new one, which is slightly less than the other couch, but it basically looks exactly the same as the other one. Um, it just doesn't have those annoying buttons on the seats and uh, we love it. Instead of decluttering, I think I've actually added to my Nintendo console system, which I'm not mad about. I got my Switch there, which has been there, but I got, look, the original NES system that's back there. That's super sweet. And I got my um, Wii U and my GameCube there. I didn't keep the Wii because I think the Wii U is backwards compatible, so it plays all my Wii games. Um, and my GameCube plays on my GameCube games, so I didn't feel like I needed to keep the Wii, but um, everything else is good. Last year, someone shamed me for this Christmas tree and said I had room for a bigger tree, but do you, do you see room? 
Do you see room in this like walking space for a bigger tree? I don't think so. And plus, I think my tree is really cute. I'm very upset about taking it down in a couple of days, but um, I love our little skinny tree and that's the only tree that fits in this apartment. I've actually decorated this console to be kind of Christmassy. So these uh, Christmas trees and these lights will most, look, most likely disappear and also these jingle bells, which my dog is afraid of, will disappear as soon as it's time to take away the Christmas stuff. So, so sad. My favorite design change that I made for this apartment though is the hiding of all the cords underneath the sofa. My husband has all of his computer charging cables and all kinds of phone charging cables just loose under there and he keeps his extra computers under there. He's very techy, he loves tech stuff and just has a lot of it. Um, so I'm not, I'm just gonna work with it. And the Roomba was getting caught up in there when it was going doing its job. So instead of um, letting it get caught in there, I put everything inside and we can just pull it out when we need something, but look at that disaster. <laughs> I just hide it <laughs> and it's all good. My husband actually loves this solution. He was like, thank you so much for doing that. So we love it. In the bathroom, the biggest organizing change we made was to the inside of the sink cabinet, which holds most of our like spare toiletries. We have another cabinet that holds a lot more of our toiletries as well, but um, this one is basically for like cleaning items and like everyday use items. And I, instead of using the drawers that I was using before, I got this really cool shelving system. I think Iris makes it. I will link it down below, of course. And a lot of people actually didn't like this change. They said, oh, I like the drawers better. The drawers look so much better. Why did you change it? But this has actually been working really well for us and I love it. I have my everyday items right here in this bin and I just pull this out whenever I need to use it. And I've got my mouthwash right there. And I got this little bin on the side that fits for all of my cleaning items whenever I need to clean the bathroom. So, and we've got hooks on the side as well, on the inside of the cabinet so that we can store some more spray bottles up there. I, I'm a curly girl, so I have the water spray bottle for the hair that is very necessary. But I like to see everything. I like to have it out because I am a out of sight, out of mind person. And if there are too many like boxes and containers, I, I go crazy. So this has been working great for us. And uh, as you can see, we kind of decluttered it a little. So yeah. In between the bedroom and our bathroom is our walk-in closet and we have changed a bunch of stuff in here. I think I actually changed the configuration of my husband's side in a vlogmas video. I don't know if it was after or before the home tour, but it looks a lot better now. And he actually got rid of like 28 shirts yesterday or the day before. And he's like super happy about decluttering. And I have since decluttered a lot of clothing in here um, throughout the year. So now I have just enough of what I need and I've got just enough shoes. I love shoes, so I have quite a big collection of fancy shoes, which I love to wear. Um, I am a singer, so I do need fancier, more formal clothes for performances. So I like to have some collection of uh, nice, formal, colorful shoes to wear. And of course, the black shoes that I have to wear on stage when I'm in choral concert or something like that. But um, I have a really huge collection of graphic t-shirts. I just love them, but um, they fit all really nicely in these drawers. These are, this is the Alpha storage system from the container store, if you're not familiar with it. I used to be a closet design consultant there, so um, I designed this closet when I was still consulting there, and I still love it to this day. I have significantly less dresses than I did uh, even a couple of months ago. I did a big dress, pur dress purge, which um, they're actually all on Poshmark. I'll share the Poshmark down below if you're size zero you'll want to check it out it's about the bunch of anthropology dresses you'll love them buy them they're cheap here I've got my collection of bags and it's just enough bags for me and I just have some out of season storage and um, some storage for workout clothes and stuff at the top so I love how much this closet has decluttered since I last showed you it and of course we love the chandelier and we love this closet. I love that I can come out of the bathroom and get dressed in here. That's my favorite part about this closet and it's really sold us on this unit. The other units have just walk-in closets. I think one other unit might have a walk-through closet, but when I saw this floor plan with a walk-through closet, I was like, snap it up.
One of the biggest changes we made to our space was actually in our bedroom and we removed a lot of things from in here, most significantly the stuff that was actually stored under the bed. I don't like storing things under the bed and if I could help it I wanted to take everything from under the bed because it was, it, it somehow made the room feel very cluttered to me and I don't know if it was some like uh, feng shui kind of thing um, but I took everything from under the bed and either found another home for it or got rid of it so under the bed now is nothing there's just the storage box for the Christmas decorations which actually goes down in our storage unit and a gift that we have to give both of our parents um, so both those things are gonna go away and what makes it great is when the Roomba comes around and cleans it can get underneath every surface including under the bed so there's no dust anywhere and I love it. I actually also decluttered the armoire. This is the patchwork armoire from West Elm. I do believe it's discontinued so you can't buy it anymore but I've made it a linen closet and the storage for my camera equipment and my dresses. So that is a significant change I made to that armor and actually the top as well. I got rid of a lot of stuff that was up there as well. I didn't use it. And now there are fewer boxes up there. I actually have one of those boxes uh, broken down flat. Those are fabric boxes. They came from Container Store and it's not being used. So yay for us. The last thing we kind of decluttered but not really was the laundry cabinet. It's a, it's a laundry closet actually and it has our washer and dryer. The only significant change we made actually in here was I actually decluttered that a little bit. That's the laundry pullout four tier cart. It holds all of our laundry detergents on there. I love to use fancy laundry detergents so like that's what I have on there. It's just me no judgment. The most significant change I made in here last year was to buy the Guppy Friend microfiber wash bag. If you don't know, uh, every time you wash microfiber, you could possibly be putting plastic micro waste into the environment, into the fish, into the rivers, uh, so that when you eat fish, you eat microplastic and it's not good. So you should go buy one of these. It's from Patagonia and I believe it's like $29, $30. I'll put a link down below so you can pick one up. I actually bought mine at the Patagonia store, but I think you can order online too. I think there's another product that actually does it as well, but I haven't tried that yet. But reduce microplastic waste by using this Guppy Friend wash bag and all of my microfiber cleaning cloths and clothes I put in that wash bag and it makes me feel so much better about the environment. That is the biggest change I made in there. Not, not a lot. So that's it for our official 2019 apartment tour. Do you like it? Do we declutter? Do you think we have too much stuff still? Leave a comment down below. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more organizing, cleaning, home decor, and dog fun. All right, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later.